I take it as an honor that I will be the first openly gay Black woman to sit in Congress when we win on November 8th. We need a Congress that is truly representational of America. I'm not running to make history, I'm running to make a difference. Send a very clear message to youth that you're loved and you belong and you're supported and there are people who are showing up every single day to fight for you. Then there's been a wave of anti-LGBTQ rhetoric and laws that have come across the nation, especially in the state of Tennessee. But I wouldn't say it immediately compelled me to run. Uh, I would say it's added fuel to the fire. I'm running because justice is justice. <laughs> You know, and whether that is economic justice, racial justice, social justice, you know, LGBTQ justice, it is justice. A member of the LGBTQ community, unapologetically, you know, a black woman, unapologetically gay, you know, those are parts of me, um, but it is not my complete identity. I am working, I'm a mother, I'm stressed, I'm broke, I'm all the things that anyone else is, you know? And you have people who are part of the LGBTQ community who are veterans, who are fighting on the front lines, you know, to keep this country safe. You have people, LGBTQ members who are teachers, you know, who are lawyers, who are social workers, doing all the other things that carry in a myriad of other titles and labels with them as well. Both as a woman and as an out, uh, LGBTQ candidate, um, I didn't have those role models when I was thinking about running for office. It's why it took me quite a while to decide to run for office is I really couldn't picture myself doing that. And so I'm hoping that my candidacy and my election will make it seem much more possible for all kinds of people, just regular people to see themselves uh, running for office someday. As an LGBT, LGBTQ person in North Carolina, I've um, experienced the very best of what policy can do and the very worst of what policy can do. That's a perspective I bring into the room with me and that a lot of people um, share because for one reason or another in their life, they, they, they know both sides of that story as well. I was a young Catholic, kid who was deeply spiritual and knew that I was gay. I spent more than uh, a few nights praying the gay away, as we say. I definitely believe that representation matters. Across the board, we build communities where everyone feels like they belong and they are respected.